Welcome back to another video, everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, a card that I've known. I feel like it's a little bit underrated and going under the radar right now. So I thought, like, hey, why don't I make a video on it while I talk about it? Because I haven't made a preach video in a very long time. So I'm going to be talking about the support card, Icopsia. We all know about the DPS card that's very famous these days in Los. Um, the most popular DPS card as of lately. But, oh my gosh, my card bag is full. One second. Right, if you, 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 and you, 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 gone. Okay, let's take this off. Let's take one endless off. I'm going to take you off. Um, and then let us convert you to Icoxia. What? Why is this annoying? So, and now we've got Icoxia. Um... So, what is this card? Why is this card? Why do I feel like this card is over underrated? Because, um, first of all, the 15 and the 12 line is 10% HP alone. HP, no matter what class you're playing, is, uh, well, okay, HP, no matter what support build you are running, whether you're running Reflect, Dodge, Block, whatever, is always useful. The 10% HP, I believe, is the most you can get out of a card. Well, 12%, my bad. HP is, I believe, the most you can get out of a free-to-play card. I th I think, don't quote me on that, but I think it's the most you can get on, uh, on a free-to-play card. As well as the fact that it gives you crit resistance. A lot of pre days run crit resistance builds because you've been, been able to get so much crit resistance. But when, for some reason, whenever I go and look at like Priest builds these days, I feel like a lot of Priests aren't really using Icoxia. Um, this is a crit, res, a crit res build, and it's Astana, Angel Heart, Denaryl, and Amil. Uh, what is this? Um, Dela. No, no Icoxia, even though it gives 8% crit resistance. And the thing is, yes, 8% is less than like 15% I, crit, res, crit res, or however much you're getting for other cards, but I still feel like the crit resistance and HP is more valuable than just the crit resistance and less HP. I don't even think Astana gives that much crit res. Three, oh wait, no, eight. No, wait, a snake is the one. I'm thinking of Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo is the other one I'm thinking of. But I still feel like it's a very underrated card because I don't think Dela, in my opinion, is better. Dela does give two, four, two, four, eight, 13% correct, Kerez, and four, seven, nine percent HP. So Dela is solid. I personally prefer Icoxia because not only does it give crit res, but it also gives the um, the debuff resistance. And the reason debuff resistance is so good right now is because, once again, everyone's favorite card, Inlos, is being used. I'm not saying Inlos is going to be in every PvP, people, but people are definitely running this card in assist. People who run high speed are probably running Inlos, Inlos, Lionheart Knight, and Meloetta in assist, is my assumption. Um, if, it, if it were me, of course, I'd be running Inlos, Lionheart Knight, and... Um, and Endless Night Heart Knight and Meloetta and Assist because I feel like that's ignore defense is good. Um, Deep of Sandwich is also usable. It's not the greatest, obviously. We all know high HP, yada, 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 yada. But high HP at a certain point is like whatever, I guess. But Deep of Sandwich is also like a second, one of the, the second best uh, damage one. So, um, a lot of people are using Endless, whether it be in main or Assist in their PvP sets. Which leads me, which leads to Icoxia being a direct counter of that. On top of the fact that Icoxia gets crit resistance, Inlos does not give crit rate, by the way. Um, so Inlos is also uh, Icoxia is actually slightly better than Inlos because it gives two PvP stats, whereas Inlos only gives technically one PvP stat uh, because it has not, nothing else. It has boss damage reduction, which is not a very good stat for PvP. So that's why I believe that Icoxia is actually slightly better than Inlos. And why, I, and it's also why I feel like it's well going under the radar because people are kind of focusing on pure crit resistance more than this. But the thing about pure crit resistance is even if you stack like 200%, like 500% crit resistance, people, if they really want to, will crit you. And if they don't want to crit you, they're going to build pure damage to one shot you regardless. Um, so it really just depends on the build, honestly, because some people can actually get their crit rate to like 500% plus. Um, if you're well in shiny cards and you have everything you need, like, there's so much career in the game right now, like, I'm, obviously I'm not a great example of it because I don't build career, but there are cards like Fungless, if someone's running Fungless, 4 Fungless, 4 Mio, then they, they could even put, if they really feel like it, 4 Egg Winner, 
or like something else where it gives crit rate, they could be running a pretty hefty amount of crit rate and actually, if they really wanted to, make some damage happen um, and, potentially be, and potentially actually end up critting hits. However, is that the best build? Eh, the best PvP build depends on what you want to do. If you want to kill priests, it's going to be different than if you want to kill DPS, in my opinion. But that's its own, that's its own little thing. I just focus on killing DPS these days. But yeah, I think Icoxia might be the most underrated priest card. And like a lot of priests through these days really just aren't running it, which is really confusing to me overall because I don't get why they wouldn't be using it. Like, you know what I'm saying? People using Daylight and things like those, so I really think that I cooked it should be looked at more. But this is my thoughts, and I think to watching. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'll go ahead and convert this right back because I do not need an Icoxia on a DPS. I think this cover is pretty convenient as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.